First at six, the start of a new life. Behind the scenes tonight of a refugee resettlement here in Arizona. Some new images showing the first families arriving in the U.S. after leaving Afghanistan. Thousands at a military base in Indiana starting the process of resettling and relocating all across the U.S. Some families could soon call Arizona home. And tonight, our Luz Delia Caballero meets those who make sure they'll feel welcome. Clark Hurlbert tells us he spends anywhere from five to 10 hours a week making sure the refugees he mentors have what they need. They fled out of Afghanistan under some very horrible situations. He says when the refugees arrive at Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest, they are set up with housing and have most, if not all, of their paperwork. They need to have a social security card. They need to have a work authorization card. And when they came in, they would have uh, what's called a I-94 form, which is uh, the customs people will, I think, provide that form. Then Hurlbert takes over and becomes their mentor. One of his first tasks, taking them to the bank and setting them up with an account. Now let's uh, see, we got to put it on a phone for you and we got to teach you how to do uh, use the uh, debit card and uh, and things like that. He says the hardest part for refugees to adjust to initially. The language can be a problem. But Hurlbert is patient and they get through it together. If I didn't understand what they're saying, I would tell them and we'd work until we got an understanding. He says the next challenge is comforting them when they miss home. They do miss their families. They miss their uh, relatives. But Hurlbert says they are thankful to be safe in the states and are eager to give back. So they oftentimes take the initiative to find a job. They are gainfully employed, uh, paying their fair share of um, taxes. And um, I'm going to say they're contributing to society along with all the rest of us. As for Hurlbert, he says he will continue to volunteer and help refugees resettle for as long as he can. The reward is, is uh, tremendous in, in self-gratification in what you do. Lustelia Caballero, ABC 15, Arizona. And so far, U.S. officials say more than 40,000 people have arrived in the U.S. from Afghanistan, with at least 10,000 others on the way. About a quarter are U.S. citizens or permanent residents. Most are Afghans given special immigrant visas for working with the U.S. military through the war. Also included are other families considered at risk under Taliban rule. Everyone who arrives undergoes security screening and vetting before resettling in the U.S. That's when organizations like Lutheran Social Services come in. And we put links with ways you can help re refugee resettlement groups in Arizona. You'll find them on ABC15.com.